Yeah. Um, it's come to my attention that recently the media uh, has put information out that is derived from an affidavit of a former police officer of this department, Lieutenant Alvin Bowman. Um, what I will tell you is that um, many of his statements are reprehensible. They have besmirched the men and women of this department that come to work every single day and put their lives on the line. Um, if this lieutenant has information or even had information concerning the death of Ms. Green, he should have and he should turn that information over to this police department. This is an ongoing open investigation. Every lead that we receive is being followed up on by our homicide unit. Um, there is no cover-up in this police department into the death of Ms. Green. Our officers are doing everything that they can to bring the killer to justice. And any information that not only Lieutenant Bowman has, but any other member or any other citizen has, we're asking that you call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP, give us that information, and we'll follow up on it. Yes. You know, I can only answer so many questions because this is an open, ongoing investigation. And I think you, you know, the, the problem with that is I'm always limited. And I need for the public to understand that the allegations, the statements that are in this affidavit, what concerns me is a broad brush has been painted against the men and women in this department. And I think as their leader, their chief of police, as a police officer myself, for over 30 years, that is reprehensible. It is. When Mr. Bowman testified to these things under oath, he testified under oath. Are you saying he lied when he testified to these things? I am telling you that there are many, many erroneous statements in his affidavit. I have reviewed it. And I will give you only this one example. I will give you this one example, and that's it. In his affidavit, he states... And, and I have to be real sensitive because there are, there's a family out there that has lost a loved one. You know, but he states that Miss Green was shot 18 times. That's what he, am, am I correct? Yes. The medical examiner's report indicates that she was shot three times. Now it says, I'm just giving you that one example. And I ask, you know, that when allegations and statements are being made against the Detroit Police Department, and it is being broadly painted, that you take a step back and ask yourself, how valid is this information? Now, that's just one example. And I think it's very significant because it's not I heard or we believe. It's the I. Why do you think he would say those statements under oath, Chief, under oath and a sworn affidavit? It's beyond me. I would just ask that the character and the integrity of every member of this police department not be painted with that broad brush when these are allegations and many of them are totally, totally erroneous. We have um, the statement that the file has somehow decreased in size, that uh, documents are missing from it over the course of the year. You know, I'm not going to sit here and go line by line through his affidavit. What I will tell you, and this will come out in time, that the investigation under my tenure has produced most of the information that we have in this case. Well, why most of the information. To get to this point, I mean, they've been talking about this murder for a while, and now okay. today you're having. Let me no 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 no. Let, let me let me finish, okay? Because I'm not going to answer a lot of questions. Okay. This is not the first time that I've spoken about this case. As a matter of fact, I spoke about it two weeks ago. I did, and you know, it didn't take. We're not just opening this case today. We exhausted every lead that we had in this case. There was nothing else that we had to go on. That is why periodically, and we do this all the time, and you know, many of the stations here put the information out for us. We periodically go on and introduce a case and ask the public for help because we've exhausted every single lead that we have. It is no different in this case. If we have nothing else to go on, there is nothing that we can do on the case. But when we do receive information, our officers diligently follow up on that information. Was the jury wrong, Chief, when they basically ruled in his favor in the plaintiff's case where he made all of this testimony public two years ago? What I will tell you is this. 
I was the last remaining named defendant in that case, and the jury found no cause of action against me and awarded him $200,000, which is much less than the $1.8 million that he asked for. So that's all I can tell you. They found no cause of action against the only named defendant, but still awarded him $200,000. So what do you do now to step forward on this case? What do you want the citizens to do? What is the police department doing as far as the investigation right now? You know what, the same thing that we ask them any time, any time, someone in this city has lost a loved one, not just in this case, but in any open homicide case that we have, anyone with information, we ask, either you provide it to us or you can do it anonymously by calling 1-800-SPEAK-UP-CRIME-STOPPERS. So it's not just this case, it's any open investigation that we have. Two weeks ago you asked for the public's help. We broadcast that. Did anything come forward out of that? We did get some leads and we did follow up on them. Anything? This is an open investigation, and I, and I keep trying to explain to you that while it's open, we're following up on every lead possible. Okay. Can we have copies of the Emmys report? Do you have, can you distribute those? No, you can get them on your own. Well, I mean, it, it would, uh, you know, you can get them on your own. I know, but you're saying three I'm not, times. I'm not going to distribute anything out of a file. You can FOIA that information. It I know, but it would help clear it up. You call the medical examiner's office? Well, we just heard this. James. That was uh, Police Chief Ella Bully Cummings, Diane and Stephen. That was the police chief coming outside to hold the news conference in response to a sworn affidavit that was released and surfaced in the media yesterday. Lieutenant Alvin Bowman, who had filed a whistleblower lawsuit against the city and won a few years ago, had said in that statement that he believed a Detroit police officer, a law enforcement officer, more specifically a Detroit police officer, was the one who shot and killed Tamara Green. Yeah, he did be. say in that that, go ahead, that, I'm sorry. The chief was clearly agitated at that suggestion. Very much so. She was. And I, I you heard I did ask why would he, in a sworn affidavit, why would he lie or not tell the truth? And she just said that what he said was reprehensible. She took such offense to it. And uh, because he did say in that statement that whoever killed Tamara Green was trained like a law enforcement, carried a 40 caliber Glock, which some police officers do carry. And she, of course, said that that's not enough reason to make that statement. And she was very offended by it. It was clear. Well, she did say this was the first time that it had really come to her attention. Didn't he try to bring this to her attention some time ago? He did, actually. I mean, this was a sworn affidavit that was just released yesterday, but he signed it on Friday. But a lot of this came out during the whistleblower trial as well. So um, I think because it surfaced yesterday and made so many headlines, that's why she's responding to it in this press conference right now. But he has made those allegations. This isn't the first time. You're right, Diana. Now, now,